Hi everyone. I'm doing some hair rig hemp at the moment. I thought, I've had a few people ask me, oh, how do I hair rig hemp? So I thought, while I'm up here in my room, this is, this is my workshop. It's a spare bedroom in my house, but I have all my fishing equipment up here. So I thought I'd show you, you need a few tools. You need, this is like a, we call these knot pickers, but it's a long spike and I've already pushed a piece of hemp on there. That's how I make the first indentation. The first pressure point is, is through that. You need a, a needle and thread. I'm getting, and I've already also just put a bit of hemp on that one, on that needle, and there's the, there's the thread. That's see, you need, this is just white cotton. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting good at this darning lot. I'll be sewing socks soon. Well, you don't sew socks these days, do you? So there's the other part, your needle and thread. A pair of, I use these jewellers pliers, so they haven't got any, gripping teeth there, they're, they're flat and level. I use them to to force the, the needle, it's quite hard him, to force the needle through. And then a pair of scissors, just for trimming the, the actual cotton off to length when you're finished. So let me try and show you, it's quite hard to do it, but let me try and show you what you need to do. So first of all, I pick a grain of hemp, which is not split. Maybe just splitting, but really I prefer to have the not split one because if, it, if it's split, you just can't do it. And then you, with this pointed tool, you just force the point through one side. It's not, it's quite hard stuff. So just through one side, make a, the start, make a little hole where you can thread the needle through. Then you pick your needle up. And I've pushed this one on a bit, so it's... So you pick your needle up and... You put that point there through the hole that you've made, and then you use the pliers on the on the needle, on the back of the needle to, if I can get it on there, to force that, force that through the hemp, and then push the seed. Then if you push the seed onto the needle, once it's on the needle, then you can just pull it through, like that. Pull it through, I've just pulled it through there. Got to try and tie this while holding it up in the air, which is not easy, is it? And then just tie a normal, you know, when you tie your shoelaces, how you do, a, you do, you do one knot, don't you? And then you do a loop, but you just do two, a double, like as if you first tie your shoelace, you do a double. So I've done one there. Then I do another one just to grip it, put it through. It's cotton, so it really, it really um, is easy. You know, it grips quite easily. It doesn't slip. So put that through. A bit awkward for me to do. Pull that one tight. So there you are, and then just trim that off. It's white cotton. I don't mind white cotton because it's. If you imagine when the hemp splits, that's white, isn't it? So then you just trim that off to length, like that. And then you've got a perfect, can't really see that there, can you? A little grain of, of hair rigged hemp. Now I put them in a, I've all, I'm, I'm working on it now, I said I'm doing some. And I put them in a dish with a little bit of the liquid from the hemp. So I, each one I do, I think it soaks in then. And then I put them in the freezer. So they're ready to use when, whenever I want to use them. Hair rigged hemp. And the most fish I've ever caught on one grain is about 33 fish. Sometimes it's four, sometimes it's 10, sometimes it's 20, but 30 something fish on one grain of hemp. Try it, not easy to do, but it's well worth it if you can do it. 